This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, November the 16th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the uh, sky cam from Trustville as we see the last vestiges of some clear skies being uh, wiped out by the clouds that moved in overnight. The clouds moved in in response to a developing low pressure system over the southeast Texas coast and the northwest Gulf of Mexico. That should track fairly quickly across North Alabama later uh, this afternoon and tonight, bringing us a good deal of rain. And in the upper atmosphere, we're watching the development of a fairly deep trough over the central U.S., and that trough coming out of the Rockies, and that trough will be bringing some pretty cold air. As a matter of fact, on the national uh, weather map, you can see some minus values this morning over the north central United States as temperatures are extremely cold with this air mass. Now, we've warmed up overnight thanks to the clouds that helped to create a bit of a blanket, but uh, the low pressure system, while responsible for a good deal of rain across the southeastern U.S., is also responsible for some winter weather advisories stretching from Amarillo, Texas, up into the vicinity of Erie, Pennsylvania, and uh, along and across the central Mississippi and Ohio River Valleys as the uh, low uh, traverses uh, our area, the southeastern U.S. It could drop on the order of one to four inches of snow along that uh, band that you see outlined in purple. For us, uh, though, it looks like the rainfall is going to be a little bit on the heavy side, but then again, we're a little light on rain right now, so we could use some rain. The rainfall uh, amounts could be between 1 and 2 inches over the next uh, 36 hours, with most of the rain probably ending by midday on Monday. Storm Prediction Center is outlooking a slight risk area for a severe thunderstorms uh, potential down along the Gulf Coast, the central Gulf Coast. This area was outlined as marginal yesterday, but... They've upgraded it to a slight risk for today, for day one, and for day two, the slight risk is in South Georgia and North Florida. And the tropics remain quiet, so nothing going on in the tropical Atlantic. Well, let's get right to the models and uh, lots to talk about. We can see that the uh, precipitation is developing, uh, as the GFS has uh, indicated, at 18Z today. Uh, the, the trough is coming in very strong, and uh, that will be bringing in a... Uh, uh, surface low, and uh, this is an intermediate time. This is a surface map as of uh, the uh, midnight tonight, <clears throat> and you can see the surface low projected to be in the vicinity of uh, Birmingham as the, the tracks northeastward. The, the trough really deepens by Monday morning, and that's going to uh, create a, a day on Monday where the rain will be ending from the west, and also the cold air will be arriving. Notice the 540 line coming into the vicinity of Tupelo and Muscle Shoals, and so the cold air is arriving, and that is producing a band of snow that will be across the Ohio River Valley. Uh, the GFS suggesting on the order of... Uh, two to four inches up in that area, and that's the area we saw where the winter weather advisories were posted. And uh, the uh, GFS also indicating surface base cape, and the cape value staying pretty high, but down along the Gulf Coast, so that's where the risk of severe weather is the greatest. The trough moves in uh, and, and across the area on Tuesday, so we should clear out nicely, and uh, uh, Tuesday should be a bit of a raw day with highs only in the upper 30s and a northwesterly wind, so very, very cold day. The trough stays in place on Wednesday, and uh, the, the high settles in. So once again, Wednesday morning, our, sur our uh, with the light wind, our, our surface temperatures could drop down to around 20 degrees. And uh, as I mentioned in the blog post, the record for Tuesday morning is 18. Uh, well, I'm, we're forecasting 18, and the record is 20 degrees, so we may set a couple of record low temperatures. The pattern moderates Thursday and again on Friday as we see a little bit of a zonal flow. So that will allow temperatures to climb back up into the 50s for highs around here with uh, lows in the 30s. But those temperatures still uh, below our seasonal values. And it looks like Friday the GFS is trying to bring the moisture back in a little earlier than it was yesterday. But uh, we'll have to wait and see if that really uh, develops. So we've got to get by one system. Not too confident here with the second system. By Saturday, there's another strong short wave coming through the uh, strong southerly flow, and that should bring some wet weather uh, into the uh, lower Mississippi River Valley. Again, that looks like we'll have to be forecasting some chances for precipitation. And by Sunday, it looks like the trough approaches once again, and that should uh, produce another uh, wet Sunday 
uh, across the, much of the southeastern U.S. with uh, a good weather system. And just like we saw yesterday, the uh, voodoo country is looking really cold. Uh, there's a lot of winter mischief our, uh, with the GFS around the 25th, Tuesday, uh, November the 25th. And uh, we're not forecasting any events just yet. Don't forecast out in voodoo country for uh, that sort of event. But uh, the GFS hinting at another winter weather event across the central United States and possibly down into the Tennessee and Ohio River Valleys. And we'll have to be watching for that. But the trend is what's important. And it's going to be cold. And it's going to stay cold through the 1st of December. As we see for uh, 372 hours out at the end of voodoo country, week two, we see uh, December the 1st, we see a good trough over the eastern and half of the country. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Sunday. James Spann should have the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, be sure to stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates on our ever-changing weather situation. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Sunday and Godspeed.